circuses are filled with death-defying stunts, dangerous acts, and creepy clowns. It's what draws a lot of people into going. Maybe not the creepy clown part. But in some cases, things can go terribly, terribly wrong. From animals attacking their trainers to a human cannonball stunt gone wrong. Let's talk about these and more only in today's video. Top 10 scary things that happened in circuses. Starting off this countdown, we have the hair hanging stunt. Okay, I have no clue how this stunt is even done because the performers are literally hanging by their hair. Like, how does it support all their weight? I feel like my hair would just rip right out of my scalp. Anyways, in May of 2014, eight acrobats part of Barnum and Bailey Circus Act were performing this stunt. They performed a human chandelier, all hanging by their hair around a ring. Ouch. But the steel fastener that held the ring in place snapped all the performers fell 20 feet down. Now, no one passed away from this, but they were all badly injured, some suffering severe spinal cord injuries and fractures. That's absolutely terrifying. As a result, the US Occupational Safety and Health Administration fined the circus $7,000 for failing to properly install the rigging used in the act. In our ninth spot, we have the Freak Show. And guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. Honestly, freak shows are very sad when you think about it. People born with abnormal traits are often the laughing stock and made fun of or bullied in society. So they join the circus so that they can finally feel accepted for their differences. But did you know that a lot of circuses were kidnapping people to be a part of their freak show act? This happened in 1899 with George and Willie Muse. They were brothers, both born albino, but had African American parents. Rumor has it that they were kidnapped and sold into the circus against their own will. That is incredibly, incredibly sad. And since they came from a poor family, there wasn't much they could do about it. In our eighth spot, we have lions and elephants and horses, oh my. Yeah, I thought that was such a clever title. Anyways, so a couple years ago during a circus performance, the animals actually got out of their cages. Someone clearly didn't lock them up right because in the middle of the act, a stampede of elephants headed right towards the audience, followed by some rogue horses. Thankfully, the lions didn't get out because that would have been super bad. But just seeing those animals unleashed caused a lot of panic and the audience was screaming and crying. Thankfully, in the end, no one was hurt and none of the animals were either. I just feel bad for those poor animals. They need their freedom. Coming in at number seven, we have the act gone wrong. So in May of 2016, a man named Ben Garnum and his family decided to go to the circus. While there, a clown was doing a performance and asked for a volunteer. His family convinced him to volunteer, and so he did. He got up on stage with the clown, and the clown said he was going to lift him in the air and spin him through the air. Of course, Ben figured that the clown wouldn't actually be doing this, but went along with the stunt anyways. All that he remembers next is the clown pushing against the back of his legs. And that's it. Well, it turns out that the clown did some weird wrestling move and Ben ended up landing on his back and he was knocked unconscious. When he woke up, he was completely fine, but still, it could have ended much worse. Coming in at number six, we have the fire breathing. Anything to do with fire is very, very dangerous. I mean, duh, it could literally burn you alive. This next story involves a fire breathing slash swallowing stunt gone wrong. The performer blew out fire from his mouth onto the torch, but upon doing so, his facial hair caught on fire. Fire quickly spread to his clothes and he was rolling around trying to put it out. Thankfully, someone rushed to his rescue and he was fine. He ended up with minor burns and some charred hair. But still, I don't want fire that close to my face ever. I don't know how they do it. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with Thomas McCart. Thomas McCart was known as the one-armed lion tamer. He actually lost his arm to a lion. While at a circus, he walked past the lion cage and the lion reached out and grabbed his arm. 
As a result, it had to be amputated. But somehow he got over his fear of lions and became an amazing lion tamer. That was until January 3rd of 1872. On this day, Thomas stepped into the lion cage and was attacked by several lions. He tried to fend them off, but sadly he couldn't and he lost his life to them. Moving on to number four, we have Rosa Matilda. Rosa Matilda, otherwise known as Zazel on stage, was the first person ever to attempt the human cannonball. She managed to nail this stunt multiple times and people were amazed. The only thing was, the cannon had to be lined up perfectly for it to work. If it was even just slightly off, she could miss the net and pass away. And sadly, that is exactly what happened. In December of 1937, she was shot out of the cannon and missed the net. She later passed away in the hospital from her injuries. Coming in at number three, we have the Cage of Death. You know in the Simpsons movie when Homer Simpson has to ride a motorcycle inside this big metal ball cage? Yeah, well that's referred to as the Cage of Death, and it's a real stunt performed at many circuses. In 2019, three performers conquered the cage at a circus. All three of them were going round and round, when all of a sudden a rider clipped the wheel of their partner, sending all three off their bikes. They landed on one rider and their bikes landed all on top of them. Thankfully, they were all okay. The worst injury was just a broken ankle. Honestly, it could have ended much, much worse for all of them. After this incident, it was discovered that all the riders were using replacement bikes because thieves broke into the circus the night before and stole the vehicles they normally use for this act. Like that is so frustrating. These thieves literally caused this accident to happen. If they had their normal bikes, this probably would have never have occurred in the first place. In our second spot, we have the lion attack. In April of 2019, a performer named Hamada Kuta from the Ukraine was attacked by a lion mid-show. The lion had sunk its teeth into his arm and clawed at him badly. He was left with two big claw scars, a tooth in his leg, tooth marks on his arm, and one four centimeter deep cut on the back from his claws. Thankfully, he survived. He's just left with a bunch of scars that remind him of the attack. And in our number one spot, we have Desi Espana. Desi Espana was a 32-year-old circus performer. She worked with the Ringling Bros and Barnum and Bailey Circus. She was an aerial silk performer. Sadly, in 2014, she lost her life while performing. One of her silk scarves gave out and she fell 30 feet down to the concrete floor. What makes this even more terrifying is that medics rushed to the scene, but to distract the audience, they sent clowns on stage as a distraction. No, I'm sorry, that for sure made it worse for everyone. Now, what I found surprising is that nets aren't used for aerial acts. It's because the scarves could get caught on the net, which would be really bad. And I mean, the chances of your scarf breaking is so slim, but sadly, it happened to Desi. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let's move quickly along to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, Top 10 Scary Things Told by Disney Employees, Part 7. Thunder Kitten with the Smoke commented, fun fact, alligators can climb fences and people have found them in their pools. Okay, well, I knew that in like Florida, people, yeah, find them in their backyard and in pools, but they can climb fences? I'm glad I live in Canada. There's no alligators around me. Yeah, those things are vicious. That bish commented, I was raised on Pokemon. The only Disney movie I like is Hercules. But you know what? Hercules is a very, very good Disney movie. Hades, sassy, love it. Meg, probably my first female crush, not gonna lie. <laughs> but um, good movie. Good movie. Abandoned Art commented, this is the closest I've been to almost being the first person to see the release of a top 10 video. Well, you know what? You were super close, and so here's your shout out. Thank you so much. All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Circuses are filled with deaf def Circuses are filled with death-defying In 2019, three performers In 2000, I don't know what that was. Possession. 
In 2019, three performers conquered, I said performers, I didn't pronounce the R, saw we. In 2019, three performers conquered. That's not how you spell conquered, I put concurred. <laughs> 